All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to make a little video of how the layout's coming along. I'm on the wiring stage of it. Uh, the main line here has three feeders. This is a DC layout. Um, I can't afford DCC stuff as of yet. Just getting into this. But what I wanted to do is be able to keep most of my locomotives on the layout at the same time. Now, other people have pointed out that you can isolate spur lines. So that's what I did. And I came up with a way to make it look clean and have all my functionality right here. Now, all my switches are manually thrown, so I don't have a switch machine, which is fine. But with a combination of using Pico switches and the two Atlas switches, which, yeah, I know, they were cheap. I found a way to make five different places I can isolate the layout. So as you can see, I'm running the main line right now. And if I come down and switch to go into my sidings, you can see when I get to the end here, the train shuts off. Well, that's because I have that line isolated so I could leave a locomotive on that line as it sits right now that line is dead so I have the inside rail wired in to a switch panel right here which I have it's just nice and neat and out of the way and at the flick of a switch I can turn that line back on I can turn that line back off I can change direction and head on to the spur line here flip my switch the train starts moving onto the isolated spur line it's isolated just like that one train stops hit my next switch there goes the train that's a block system it's very cheap and easy I have with the wiring and the switches here I have I bet $25 into this and I have the same setup on the sidings over here now the sidings are a little bit different of a story for my switch yard so I didn't want to isolate go put more isolation points in than I had to well that's where the Pico switches come in they are power directional so I can have it lined up to go onto this line. I can shut this line off, train won't move. But I can also leave that locomotive on that line with the switch still powered, throw this switch, the locomotive's not gonna move. No matter what I do with this switch here. And that is because all the power is going down this track. And that's because for the new people who aren't sure, you know, I had to learn all this on the fly. I sh the Pico switches are directional with power. So it's fantastic. I can leave, I can have four locomotives on this layout, all on different lines, and only power one wherever I want. As long as they're on an isolated spur line, which this is an only four by eight, so it's very easy to do. I can run my layout with a lot more possibilities in a very confined space. This is just starting out. This is going to be a power plant, um, an engine house. I got a small yard. I got a little runaround track, which is isolated by, once again, Pico switches. I have the switches thrown, the switch thrown. It's not going to power the runaround track. So that's how I do it. And... I uh, hope this helps someone else out. What you do is you just put in little plastic rail joiners on one rail. You use the little plastic rail joiners to isolate. Now I isolate to keep it simple, the inside rail, no matter where I am on the layout. That way I know the polarity is going to stay correct. So that's just how I do it. Um, if anybody wants any close-ups, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm sure a lot of people do it, but I thought it was pretty fun. A nice little electrical play around thing and all my 
all my wire connections are actually disconnect so I can disconnect the layout from my power source and carry the layout wherever I want that's another nice thing about four by eight don't let anybody put you down so anyway that's how I wired my layout um, I got two more switches down here so I can isolate two more places I don't know if I will on this shorter layout but eventually going that way I'm gonna add another four feet to the layout and there's gonna be a mine over there so I got two more places I can isolate I can isolate that entire side if I want to so that'll be nice uh, if anybody has any good recommendations on a more powerful um, transformer let me know because I do double head and it'd be nice to have something with a little bit more power especially as I get more track I'm gonna want more output um, but that's it for now um, another thing you can do if you have somebody is if you have two transformers and you isolate over there I guess you probably could run a single layout with two, two transformers as long as you're isolated um, and put a switch in between the two I'll, I'll work on that and see how I can come up what I can come up with but that's way down the road I'm not worried about that at the moment so next is I got a, a bunch of buildings to start building um, and then once they're in place I can slowly start one bit at a time some landscaping and then some ballasting so here we go Thanks.